quarter three jumping into scoring moves now let me talk to you for one minute campers when i was thinking through this workout today i was thinking you know christian you're a good trainer i've been doing this for nine years now i've got a thousand different moves i could teach you all but how often are you going back and really working on the basics as simple as where you rip through with the ball do you rip through high do you rip through low do you rip through at your waist and then adding in some pump fakes into those rips. And that's what we're going to get into today. So it may be a little basic from a skill level today. But one of the infamous things about Kobe Bryant was the Mamba mentality. And there are stories about him going in the gym and for three hours working on one footwork where he would just work on this jab to this right left at the elbow because he knew he was going to get there. Let's have that Mamba mentality and focus in on the basic small details. Let's get to work. First thing we are working on today is our rip throughs. And when I say rip through, I mean, you catch the ball, you've got a defender in front of you that cannot guard you. And you don't need all the fancy moves. You simply get in front of them and boom, you rip and go right by them. But there's different ways you can rip depending on where the defender is. Is their hand high? Is their hand low? Let's say this the first defender is just a neutral defender with their hands out wide. So we are gonna spin the ball out, catch it left, right. That's very important. Spin it out and catch it left, right. Our first one, as simple as can be, rip through at the hip level, rip to a one dribble, left, right footwork, getting to your shot pocket. If you've got a hoop, you can shoot it. If you don't have a hoop, I want you practicing where are you picking up the ball? So as I rip and I go left, right, I wanna get the ball to what I call my shot pocket with my shooting hand loaded behind the ball, not on top of the ball, behind the ball, and my guide hand out to the side of the ball. And then lastly, my pocket is at my hip level. So I'm not picking up the ball up here. I'm not picking it out, out to my right. I'm not picking it up out to my left because I'm a right-handed shooter. I'm picking it up right here on my right hip. If you were a lefty, it would simply flip. Left hand locked in, right at your hip, shooting hand behind the basketball. So let's get to work, spin it out. Left, right, rip through at your waist, one dribble, shot pocket. In three, two, one, let's go. Spin it out, left, right, rip, shot pocket, back it up. Hey, we are gonna build from here. I promise it gets more challenging, but we gotta start with that first brick as we build this house. Left, right, footwork. In three, two, one, okay, awesome, we got the basic one. Let's say that defender has their hand right in your face. And you know what? You want to rip low and go under that hand. This time, spin it out left, right. Now I'm ripping below my knees. So I'm taking the ball below my knees and then exploding out to a left, right footwork. Okay, spin it out, catch it left, right, low rip, go. Can be such a simple move that can get you a bucket. Low rip in three, two, one, let's go. Good, come on, come on, come on. Spin it out, low rip. Get below that defender's hand. That defender's hand is right in your face. You're almost running your shoulders through their hand, seeing if you can draw some contact along the way. Great, great move. In three, two, one. Okay, third style of rip. We're moving quick here because we're gonna cover a lot. Third style of rip, let's say it's a low pesky defender, like Coach Showalter back in the day. Just Absolutely. low, all up in your handle. So you don't wanna rip low to where their hand is. You wanna take this ball to your shoulder level to a high rip. Taking this ball over top, putting it down, getting into your shot. Spin it out, catch it left, right, high rip to the right. In three, two, one, let's go. High rip, get it up over that defender's hand over that defender's hand. Where are you collecting the ball? Are you picking it up into a good shot pocket? That's so important, so important. You need to step with your right Three, foot off that two, pivot foot. One, all right, let's go to the left now. Those three reads, we're gonna go through a lot quicker. Now spin it out, right, left, catch, rip through at your waist, one dribble, right, left, footwork, getting into that shot pocket. Waist level rip. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, work on those simple things. How fast can you rip? How fast can you get into your shot?
Three, two, one. Low rip, low rip now. Bring it below the knees. That defender's hand is high. Ready, set, go. Spin it out. Catch it right, left. Rip low to the left. And then you're getting to right, left footwork again. This is Jason Tatum move right here. Very simple Jason Tatum move. Right into the Three, shot. Two, one. Last one. High rip. Taking this ball shoulder to shoulder into that attack. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ripping out to the left. Getting into a good shot pocket afterwards. Three, two, one. Time. Okay. Now we got those rips down. Let's now put them into some moves. Going back to our left, right footwork. I'm going to spin the ball out, catch it left, right. I'm going to hit a pump fake, lifting the ball and my eyes to the rim. He doesn't really bite on the pump fake, or maybe that defender slightly gets out of their stance. We're coming out of that pump fake to a low rip, one dribble pull up. So I spin it out, catch it left, right. Pump fake, low rip, go into that shot. So what we're doing here, we're raising our body up high and then bringing it all the way low. That's tough for a defender to guard. We're gonna make them contest high and then have to get back down into a stance. That's hard to guard. Pump fake, low rep to the right. Three, two, one, let's go. Very good job, Adam. I see you, Jonathan Lee. Good. Stay low on this, up chin high, up. Stay drop low. Back down low. Chin up, chin up as you move. Low rip, below the knees. Yep. Let me see a few. Okay. Ashman, good job. Let's see some reps out there in three. Dylan, good job. Two, one. Let's immediately flip yeah. sides here. Hey, yep. I see a few of you with good pump fakes, but you're not as disciplined on that low rip. That rip was just kind of coming waist level. You guys want to be pros? You want to win gold medals? That ball placement matters. Getting it at your hip and not at your knees is the difference from that defender's hand stealing the ball or missing the ball. That's the game winning turnover. Small details, spin it out, catch it right, left, pump fake, low rip below the knees into this attack. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, good, come on. Carl. Laura Osby, but good job. There you go, good. Job, Blake Kaiser. Stay low. Catch, stay low, get those knees bent. Chin's got to stay up as you move. Job, Tim. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah. I'm seeing some good reps. I'm seeing some good reps. We got about a minute or two left here in quarter three. I want to challenge everyone. Where are you collecting the basketball? I know everybody just wants to shoot it, wants to focus on their follow through. But before you get to the follow through, you got to pick up the ball. And if you're not picking it up in the right place, it's going to affect everything else above it. Let's get into our last move here. This time, back to left, right footwork. Spin it out, left, right. Pump fake, he doesn't bite. Jab step, he doesn't bite. So that defender's still just sitting right here. Hand in your chest. We give him a pump, we give him a jab, and then we go high rip, right by him. So that's the beauty of what I wanted you to realize today. The rip can be the move to get you by somebody. You can give a few selling moves first, see if they bite on the pump, see if they bite on the jab. But at some point, you just got to take that ball and go get your shot or get to the basket. Let's work on that right there. Spin it out, left, right, pump, jab, reset, high rip. Let's get to work in three, two, one, let's go. Pump, jab, high rip. Pump, jab, I really it doesn't have to be overly quick with it. You oh, have to let the defense, the defense re let the defense react to your fake. Let the defense Good. react Three, to your fake. Two, one, time. Let's switch sides with it. Spin it out. Right, left footwork to start. Pump fake. Jab to the left. Come back to the middle. High rip to the left into that shot. Last thing in quarter. Three. Three, two. One, let's work. 
too short for the application. Yeah, Jonathan. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go, everybody. Last rep. Go get a bucket. Get a bucket in your mind. See yourself beating this defender and knocking that shot down. Last rep. In three, two, one, time. Hey, before I hand it off to the coaches, all I want to say is, look, no, you can't get that much better in 10 minutes of work. Hopefully you learned, hopefully you learned in that 10 minutes. And now throughout the rest of the week and the coming weeks, you go find a hoop and work on your rips, work on some low rips, work on some high rips, do it off of a jab, do it off of a pump fake. Maybe it's off of a stab jab. Maybe you step at that defender and then you come back into a low rip. I taught you those today. Maybe they're not new information, but how often do you really go work on that? All right. You're probably out there working on three crossovers to the spin move. Right? But that stuff isn't always what gets you a bucket. Go work on those simple things.